Let's see how we can create dumbbell charts using R. So let's get started. We'll be using these libraries, ggcharts, gapminder for our data, ggplot2, flextable, dplyr, and tidyr. So let's prepare our sample data, and I'll be using the gapminder data set from gapminder library. So this is the data. This is the GDP and population of different countries in different years. So let's see this data. I'm just gonna put it into another data frame called DS and just see the first six rows of this. So this is how the data looks like. But we are still not ready with our data set. So we'll make some more changes to our data. So I'll create another data frame called ds.wide and I'll take the gapminder data and then pipe it. And then I just want to select the life expectancy year and country. So only these three columns. And then further, I want to create a wide data. So I'm using the tidyr pivot wider. Values are going to come from the life expectancy column. And the names are going to come from the year. So let's see what it does. So now we have a DS wide data. You can see that it has actually created different years and then given the population in that. So to make it a bit more user friendly, I just want to put it, I just want to change the year to some more meaningful values. I'm just going to put life expectancy in the front. So it's going to prefix each name or each column name with life expectancy. You can see that instead of the years, it's now saying life expectancy underscore the year name. So in our dumbbell chart, we want to show the difference of population between year 2002 and 2007. So that's the idea. So I'm creating a column called difference of uh, those two populations. And let's view this data. Okay, now we are ready for creating our dumbbell chart. So let's get started. So I'm going to use the ggcharts package or library, and I'm just giving the command dumbbell chart and then passing the data set or data frame ds. And I just want to see only the six rows, so I said head. And on the x-axis, we want to see the countries. And y1, or the starting value, is going to be the life expectancy in year 2002. And y2 is going to be life expectancy in year 2007. And I just want to see only one row. Let's see. Top n equals 1, 2, 3. You can actually change them also. Now, instead of displaying the chart, I just want to create another object out of it called PL. And then I can enhance it. I can use ggplot commands. For example, I've used the theme BW from ggplot2. And I'm also using the, the labels. And you can see that the final chart looks like this. But if you're interested in using how you can create this from ggplot2 as well, you can watch it further. So let's create this chart in ggplot2 as well. So I'm using the data head of dsy. That means I just want to see the six rows. And aesy equals country. And we're going to use the geom segment command. x equals life expectancy in year 2002. y equals country. y end is also country. And x end is going to be life expectancy in the year 2007. So that we can get a straight line representing the start and end of the life expectancies. And then we're going to add the points to make it a dumbbell shape. So the first point is from year 2002 life expectancy. And again, we want to create another dot on the other side. And this is going to be in orange color and coming from the life expectancy for year 2007. So that completes our dumbbell. And of course, we can enhance it further by putting more commands. For example, I can put the theme Let's add a, a theme to it as well. So I'm using theme classic. And we can also add some labels as we did before. So we have seen two ways of creating the dumbbell chart. One using the ggcharts command and the second one using the ggplot2 package. And I hope you found this information useful and practical. Thank you very much for watching it and I'll see you in the next one.